with all the news that's flying by this weekend and so much of it being top level, here's a story that I plucked into the feeds early today. It's a Sunday night, uh, 6 o'clock uh, Central Time or so uh, p.m. on the 17th that I put in there because we need to pull some stories. And on a third read of the story, as I'm just reviewing things going on, I went down a rabbit hole that was just so deep for me. I want to get something on this one out there, even though I'm almost positive it's not going to be a top 30 story. It's no contention for a top 10 story for a Monday edition of Things You Might Have Heard. But we're talking about Afghanistan, and we're talking about not in the way of the whole leaving it and making such a bad mess of that. We're talking specifically of the Taliban trying to run Afghanistan. And since taking control of the nation back in August 2021, the Taliban has actively sought international assistance for the country's reconstruction and economic stability. They're actually asking for help from other nations. Afghanistan's economy has been heavily reliant on foreign aid for historical times because it's always been a poor nation. This constitutes approximately 4% of GD, GDP, financing over half the government's annual budget prior to the Taliban's actual takeover, and then they took over, and things got to be basically worse. Recent developments, Taliban has engaged in diplomatic efforts to secure more support. In this month alone, they've had some extensive talks with Indian officials uh, over in Kabul, speaking with the defense minister, Mohammed Yaqub Mahide, uh, totally butchering that one, unfortunately. The discussions are aimed at straightening bilateral relations, focusing on humanitarian cooperation and other key areas to make things better. India is considering increasing its role in Afghanistan's reconstruction and encouraged by the Taliban's assurance of preventing anti-Indian activities on Afghan soil. So Afghans are trying to keep the rabble-rousers that are going to India out of India. That's great. That's transactional. It works. But despite these efforts, international aid to Afghanistan has been declining significantly across entire batches. The U.S. Special Inspector General for Ambassador for Afghanistan um, reconstruction, that's a very long thing that goes out to a synonym called SIGAR, reported that 82% of reduction in U.S. aid since the Taliban's return to power and the decline has led to calls for the end of certain missions and reevaluation of the strategies. Essentially, we don't want to deal with Afghanistan because we don't want to deal with the Taliban since we're no longer trying to aid in their growth and let the Taliban do their own thing and they're not doing so well. We, U.S., need to stop doing things for them. And other nations essentially are in the same sort of mindset that why are we helping these people? And I use these people specifically here when the people trying to run the show are literal terrorists who don't know how to run an actual show. The international community faces some complex dilemmas about balancing the provisional humanitarian aid to the Afghan people with concerns about legitimizing the Taliban regime. While some countries and organizations have resumed limited assistance to address the urgent humanitarian needs, others remain cautious, extremely cautious, emphasizing the need for the Taliban to uphold human rights and prevent the use of Afghan territory for terrorist activities. This talk is right now with the Indian government is basically on this level, keeping Indian aggressors out of their territories to train and find their ways into Indian trouble. Other nations looking for the same thing, essentially looking for the Taliban to stop doing its main mission, funding and training terrorists. So Taliban's continued pursuit for international aid from Afghanistan in the reconstruction efforts is often met with a mix of diplomatic engagements and significant challenges. Basically, we want to help. We feel good about helping the people out there in Afghanistan. They are good people. The citizens have no issues. It's the people in charge, the Taliban which we have problems with and had problems with for decades. As the global community navigates this complex nature of providing support to people who are truly in need on a regime that's designed to basically buck the trends and actually not take on treaties and do what they want to do in the way of just managing terror, you can see where the issues are. So this is a very complicated situation, something that we, U.S., have had a very, very difficult issue trying to manage for quite some time and it's not going to be fixed anytime soon, unfortunately. But this is just one small pocket of the world that if we do go more America first, or as many people are saying, that's an acronym or, or it's just a, a slogan to basically say American only, more unrest, more peoples like the Afghans who are really in dire need and letting people like the Taliban run the show. And at some point in time, 
when they realize the Taliban can't run the show, some other influencer will take over. India is trying to do it a diplomatic way, but maybe they're the next people to, to pile up with the Russians or the Chinese who are actual adversaries, even though they are slightly partners, Chinese, you know, for economic stuff, but they are actual adversaries there or the next big thing in terrorism happens and they take over and they start farming out Afghan and Afghanistan for their traditional terrorism and drugs. It could happen. It can happen. And if we're not careful, things like this and other pockets that are so far away, they seem like they're not worried, worth worrying about become issues to worry about. So what do you think? What do you think about this story? It's obviously story. It's obvious story. that's not going to have a lot of massive love from the listing, but all the things that have happened this week, including Mike Tyson, who we'll get a chance to actually talk to talk about explicitly in the video we did already. And of course, throughout the week, as this becomes a bigger story with a bigger deal for the fallout, as we're waiting to see the big thing is the stock price of Netflix. Tell us what you think about this story here. Some stories we're covering. Some of the extra conversational stories are covered. It's not quite what were the news clips and how we're doing things in general. Email us at the conversation inbox, email.com. Visit the website, this is a conversation project.com. When you're there, check out our partnership page, consider that. Check out our sponsors page, consider them. Check out the links to where we are in various places. Consider joining a few places there. And leave a comment, of course, leave some feedback. Tell us how we're doing for this thing here. This is a story, as I said, I went down a rabbit hole because that's where my brain works to go deeper into what was going on here. The Taliban is asking for help and they have been asking for help for quite some time in their own way. And some people are trying to give help to Afghans in Afghanistan, but trying not to actually legitimize the work that the Taliban is doing because they're still a Taliban. What do you think? Let me know in the comments.